A number of Western countries, there's been consternation that some African countries have been ambivalent, or in the case of South Africa, neutral over Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Is this payback for the West? I'll just say this, right? Sorry for cutting the video short. You see, when the what's going on right now between Russia and Ukraine, it's really the Anglo-Saxons against the Russians. It's always been like that. This goes back hundreds and hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. These are different races of white people having a civil war against each other. Really, the Ukrainians and the Russians are the same people. Stalin founded Ukraine in the 20s. Ukraine is part of Russia. It is Russia. Right? But the Ukraine have been co-opted. They've been wooed by the Anglo-Saxons. Anglo-Saxons meaning the, the West. The British, the Americans, the Germans. They've been wooed by them. So, they're using them as a proxy to fight against Russia. Because the ultimate goal for the Anglo-Saxons is to divide Russia. Because of the land mass, they, 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 they really covet the place. They really want it. So they want the land. They want to break it up and chop it up amongst themselves. They tried that in, during the Second World War. It didn't happen. Did you know Russia lost over 24 million people during the Second World War fighting the Nazis? Did you know that? They pretty much won the war themselves. America got in a couple of months before the war was to end. America lost like 300,000 people in the Second World War. Compare that to 24 million Russians. And you think Russia is going to let this happen again? Russia, are Russians' armies mainly for defense purposes. They're defending territories. They're not invading anybody. Who colonized most parts of the world? Russians? No, the Anglo-Saxons did. The British, the Americans, and what they still do until today. Russia just wants to be left alone. Russia helped South Africa to fight against apartheid. They donated weapons, money. Russia right now is interested in building strong business structures with other countries. That's why they forgave Africa almost, almost 100 billion. They just forgive them. Like, don't worry about paying it back. You can have it. That's what Russia is interested in. They are not interested in conquering. They're not interested in conquest. They just want to be left alone to thrive. So I just want to give you a background to all this. Because now they're trying to persuade African countries to join in with the Anglo-Saxons. that have been oppressing them for generations. Right? Talk about being delusional. It's becoming a multipolar world. The West see their own demise. So they're kicking and throwing tantrums and scattering everything because they're trying to hold on to whatever power they have left. So what you see right now is just an internal fight between the Caucasian race and they end up dragging the rest of the world into their mess. So I just want to give you the background so you know what's going on here. For the, for the wrongs of the colonial era? Is that why? No, 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 no. It's not the colonial era. Tim, let's be frank. The resolution, American resolution, called f for the uh, 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 condemning the uh, violation of the sovereignty of another country. Of Ukraine. Of Ukraine. And... Many African people said, excuse me, what did America do in Iraq? Was that legal? Was that not breach of security, sovereignty of another country? Yes, it's a sovereign country, but they don't care. Because they're not, they're not a Caucasian company. They're not a co Caucasian country. So they don't care. That's just, people don't want to say the quiet part out loud. But they do not care. They're going on about this whole Ukraine stuff right now because it's a Caucasian country. If it wasn't, they wouldn't care. 
and they're doing this to themselves because this conflict has been going on since 2013 2014 this has been happening but no one knew about no one a lot of people still do not know about the minsk accords the minsk agreements because a lot of the ukrainians were massacring the russians they were living in ukraine they're trying to wipe out anything russian from ukraine which is russian majority of people there speak russian not ukrainian and the minority ukrainians were being funded by the west and they were decimating genociding the indigenous russians and Putin wanted to get involved since 2014, but then they had something called the Minsk Agreement, the Minsk Accords, where the Western leaders, the Ukrainian leaders and the Russian leaders had made an agreement that it would stop the fight in Ukraine against the, the indigenous Russians, right? They had a peace agreement, but come to find out later on, recently, Angela Merkel the Chancellor of Germany, of Germany, former Chancellor of Germany, just said that Minsk Accords they had in 2014 was just a ruse, was just a farce. They never intended to uphold it. They wanted to buy time. They didn't want Russia to invade then because they wanted time to train the Ukrainian army up to NATO standards. They wanted to pump them with more weapons. America do not want to fight Russia head to head, so they're using Ukraine to do it. And Ukraine, as you know, it is not; it doesn't exist anymore because right now, Russia's finishing them. Russia has decimated the entire country. It's gone. Ukraine is gone. All you hear about on the news about Ukraine, this Ukraine, that is propaganda. That country is finished. It's gone. America, no, it cannot win a war directly with Russia. First, that would spell the doom for the rest of the world. So they're using Ukraine to do it. They don't care that Ukraine is basically a... I don't want to use the N-word in here because they have my channel, my little channel of managing. They'll flag the whole thing and take it down. The N-word, meaning N-A-Z-I. The Yahtzees is basically a kind of like a Yahtzee colony in Ukraine. This is the same Western leaders that are virtue signaling against racism, racism, this, racism, that. And they're supporting the worst of the worst racists in the world in Ukraine right now. Because they're trying to use them to defeat Russia, which is impossible. It's impossible because Russia have kind of weapons that the rest of the world don't even know exist. These people are no joke. And they're part, they've partnered with China. So the delusion of America to think they still control things... It's really mind-boggling and scary because I live in the West. You live in the West if you likely listen to my voice right now. Man, I'm scared as a motherfucker, man. Because <laughs> we're being ruled by lunatics, by psychopath, delusional. Well, ICC, Putin is welcomed here. And no one is going to arrest Putin. If needs be, we'll go and fetch Putin from the airport to his meeting, he will address, finish all his meetings, we'll take him back to the airport. We're not going to be told by these hypocrites of the International Criminal Court who know the real violators of human rights, who know the murderers of this world. That former uh, premier, uh, uh, prime minister of uh, Tony Blair, admitted that they made a horrible mistake when it comes to Saddam Hussein. They've not been charged today. Bush is still there. They've not been charged till to date. And then Obama killed Gaddafi. And then nothing has happened. We're here today with Libya being destroyed and unable to recover because of America.